Welcome to the world of finance, jobs after finance, a career in finance after MBA. You know, I'll tell you a story. When I was an MBA student and when I went into my MBA at IIM Udaipur, while I had no work experience in the field of finance, in fact, my math was really weak all through my schooling. But the aspiration which I had right in my MBA program was that, you know what, I want to do finance. One of the primary reasons was what you may be having a reason because A, it pays you a lot. Yes, it does. I'll be talking about all of that. And also because it was cool to say finance and, you know, it made sense that, okay, I'll be working with numbers and impacting large numbers of organizations. Well, that's that. All of those things I'll be covering in this video that what exactly is finance and what are the skills required for it? What are the various things which a person in finance after MBA would do? Hi, I'm Darpan Saxena and welcome to the Career Launcher YouTube channel and let's talk about finance, careers in finance after MBA in this video. Let's understand areas in finance. You know, I want to simplify finance for you, finance job roles for you. What zaruri hai samajna so that if you're an MBA aspirant and if you're walking into your MBA admission interviews, you need to have clarity ki aap karna kya chaate hain, finance ke aapke liye vaakai hai ya nahi and obviously so that you can talk sense in the interview that okay, this is what I aspire to do in finance. Also, if you're an MBA student, anyways, it will help you. Broadly, the four areas which you should know of are this. Corporate finance. Understand it like this. Any corporate, any organization in this world has an internal finance team. Because obviously, lifeblood of any business is cash. So, for your company's finances, a finance team needs to be able to do it. That work which is internal to a company, that work which is internal to a company, it's called corporate finance. All the things which you do within the company for the finances of that company is called corporate finance. I'll be explaining more about it when I'll be explaining how does it work. Then, fintech. Now, this is relatively new. Companies or financial companies which utilize the technology part and build financial products. Examples you'd know, Paytm, PhonePay, all of these are fintech sort of companies. You'd be having more examples. I'll give you a few more after this. Then, banking is another finance field altogether. And these three kinds. Retail is what the banks do for you and me, which is individual account holders, the loans, the account operations for individuals is called retail banking. Then commercial and corporate is for B2B. Commercial is for smaller organizations and obviously this is for larger corporate. So whatever services they offer to B2B to various other organizations be it small or large come under commercial banking and corporate banking you should know this because just knowing that okay i want to get into this is not enough probably you need to know ki uske andar bhi kuch aur cheeze hain which are different from each other research about them or go down in the comments and let me know if you want a specific video on careers in banking i'll make it for you then financial services there are various organizations which provide financial services for example equity research researching about how valuable the equity of a company is and whether investment should be made in that company or not trading trading of what trading of securities trading of various financial instruments like government securities like bonds could also be shares could also be equity all of those things and obviously rating agencies the agencies which specialize in certifying in understanding the risk which an organization has and giving it a credit rating the higher the rating the safer that organization or the safer that instrument is for investment you should know these terms because in this video my objective is to introduce to you all of these terms give you some idea about it and wherever you want either you research on it on your own or you let me know i'll make more content on it for you now from there let's try and understand that okay industry may fit kaha hota hai ab jab aap ek business ko join karte hai ek company join karte hai after mba from whichever b school you may be in 
how does an industry utilize finance in its thing broadly what you need to know is that a finance has three wings to it so to say okay the first one is corporate finance as i've already explained corporate finance entails everything in finance the financial processes which are required to grow and maintain a corporation a company and as i've said any company small or big requires an internal finance team obviously a smaller company would have a smaller team maybe ek log do log char log panch log a large company would have hundreds of employees in finance teams so you could join any company any company if you join them in their finance team predominantly what you are working on predominantly the team you would join is the corporate finance the kind of things which you would be doing is corporate finance read up more on this or comment down i'll make more content on that then the second thing is investments now go to the career launcher youtube channel after this video if you are somebody who's interested in this because investments as a finance vertical is a huge vertical it's probably the highest paying also i didn't want to say this that it pays the most because then aapka sara attention is pe aa jayega i don't want that that the only reason why you choose investment banking is because of how much it pays but it's a fact about it because the work requirements and the kind of deals you crack the kind of things you do have a much larger impact isko samajhte aise hai corporate finance mein aapka kaam tha ki ek corporate ki फाइनेंशियल हेल्थ संभालना अकाउंटिंग करना समझना कहां से आएगा पैसा टू मेक इनफ प्रोविजन टू स्पेंड समवेयर दिस एंड दैट इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग इज हेल्पिंग दीज कंपनीज और अदर इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर्स टू मेक इन्वेस्टमेंट टू ग्रो वेर वुड दे मेक दीज इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रॉबेबली दे वुड वॉन्ट टू मर्ज विद और अक्वायर अनदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और they would want to invest in a early stage startup which is called vc venture capital or they would want to buy the equity of a much larger organization which is called private equity so where all could a company invest from the finances which it has been able to accumulate from its from its entire you know from its own operations comes under investment banking that's that this has a complete separate video altogether i've created a video on this on the cl youtube channel watch that and then probably financial institutions you could join financial institutions as well which regulate this process or you know the ones which help build strategies for it or build overall policies for it that's that they also make financial products which help others it could be various organizations or various human beings like you and me individuals like you and me now from there if i were to go further into all of these things here is what you need to know here are the various things which happen inside of these the various various little things and job roles of finance which would be there i am not saying that when you join any organization you know that you would be focusing on just one or two of these no probably you would be working on more than one of them but these are all you have to know the way i have arranged them the way this slide is is that that the words which you see are more associated to these things so for example if you are working on corporate finance if you join an organization for corporate finance one of the major roles is reporting you have to report the financial performance of that company that's that obviously strategy that how do we spend money how do we increase our cash flows how do we utilize them strategy and planning as per that treasury management treasury means maintaining the cash statement the cash flow of an organization that's that i'm explaining these in a very simpler words for you so that you broadly understand what all of this is so that you can go ahead and research more on this that is required or again comment down i'll make more things on you investment banking i've said investment everything about investing in various other companies blah 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 all of those things investment analysis that first you first you plan and analyze where to invest then how do you manage the portfolio of investment for your clients mergers and acquisitions all of the, those things they come here financial institutions help you in various things so for example a bank is a financial institution a vc firm which helps you know which invests in early stage startups is a financial institutions which specialize in providing that fund 
or the capital that's that a private equity firm could be a financial institution of sorts which invests in that this is broadly what you need to know about the various things inside finance the various things which you would do inside finance now moving on from there top companies from finance this is only important so that you know that what am i talking about what are the various companies so when i am talking about a bank you know these banks city bank hsbc stand chartered SBI, ICICI. Some of them are exclusively B2B banks now, in India at least. Corporate banks or some of them have much more stronger presence in the B2B markets, in the corporate market. Whereas some of them are big retail banks. That's that. Then, fintech. You wanted some examples on fintech. Anything, any financial product which they have created or any service which they provide around financial products this that all of these you would know involve a great deal of tech so if you're somebody who has a tech bent of mind especially if you are an engineer and you have an inclination uh, to finance lot of opportunities for you not just in fintechs but in overall in finance and i'll be explaining when i'll be sharing more about the skills required because probably if you're an engineer you have an advantage over here then capital markets capital capital means what it could be trading, it could be VC firms, it could be private equity firms, the ones who manage these investments, it could be that. And rating agencies, you would know these. Crystal, ICRA, these rate these various organizations, the banks, the financial institutions, so that investors could know where to invest. Investors could know basis these ratings. And obviously, all corporates, as I said, corporate finance, any corporate requires finance people. That's that. So like any company would require an operations team or a marketing team. Finance to bilkul chahiye chahiye because hey, you have to earn money, right? That's that. Now moving on from there, a very interesting thing which you should know. Skills required. Now here's one big statement which I'm about to make. If you're a chartered accountant, if you're a CA and if you're an engineer, you anyways have an edge. Finance is a specialization like this that you need to understand your past academics, one, your previous work experience, two, and your performance in your MBA college makes a lot of impact on where will you get placed. Even whether you will find a job in finance or not is hinged upon these three things. So, shayad mein kisi aur field ke liye aapko, I can say that you know what, past academics, jo bhi ho, jitna bhi score hai, utta important you know, that you know what, scores are not important, what you do is important, this and that. Finance ke liye wo thoda kam apply hota hai, finance mein aapka history kya rahi hai, academic history, your educational history is very important, that's that. Some of the skills which are required and a few I would like to highlight. Financial modeling, modeling means what, predominantly using tools like Excel to forecast financial future of the organization to understand the financial history basis that probably extrapolated budgeting and all understanding how would the revenue grow how would the expenses grow to be able to predict that or model that basis various factors simple si baat hai excel zaruri hai wo maine kahin pe shayad likha bhi hoga excel skills data analysis skills again valuation this comes in handy in investment banking. It comes in handy in financial institutions. If you're in one of like that, if you're in private equity or in VC, this is very important. Valuing a company, forget even a company, valuation of an opportunity within, you know, within that company. Valuing a project, even if suppose you're working in corporate finance, forget everything else. And if the product team will come to you with a new product idea, somewhere you would be required to value that okay, if we were to build this product, how much will we spend on it? How much could we earn from it? The valuation of that product. It could be as simple as that. And obviously, data analysis, quantability is high. Now, here is the thing. If you are a CA, obviously, you are a natural candidate for finance job roles. You are a natural candidate for investment banking. Plus, if you are a CA plus with great academics, to, to nothing like it. Also, if you are an engineer, it is considered that hey, your quant ability is going to be good. Your data analysis ability is going to be good. It is assumed that your analytical skills will be good. It is also somewhere assumed that your attention to detail will be good. Ability to work long hours will be good. So these two candidates, engineers, engineers from good engineering colleges especially. 
आर इंस्टेंट पिक्स फॉर फाइनेंस आपको अपनी जीपीए मेंटेन करनी है अच्छी लेके आनी है एंड अगर पास्ट एकेडमिक्स अच्छे हैं और अगर आप इंजीनियर हैं देन बिल्ड स्किल्स नाउ व्हाट स्किल्स टू बिल्ड फर्दर मस्ट कंसिडर दीज थ्री थिंग्स यू नो नेशनल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज एन एस सी सर्टिफिकेशन देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ आई कैन यू नो इफ यू गो टू दैट वेबसाइट ट्वेंटी थर्टी सर्टिफिकेशन ऑन वेरियस थिंग्स इन फाइनेंस इट कुड मेक यू अ फाइनेंस एक्सपर्ट ऑफ सॉर्ट इट कुड गिव यू अ लॉट ऑफ ज्ञान ऑन दैट एंड वेरी प्रैक्टिकल कोर्सेज वेरी प्रैक्टिकल सर्टिफिकेशन टेक दैट एज अ वेरी स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट इट सेल्फ देन यू वुड हैव हर्ड अबाउट दिस सी एफ ए चार्टर्ड फाइनेंशियल एनालिस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल वेन दे गो इन टू देर एम बी ए दे थिंक दैट ओके फाइनेंस करना है सी एफ ए करना है फायदा रहता है येस अगर आप सी एफ ए लेवल वन भी कर गए एम बी ए के साथ साथ फायदा मिलेगा बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली देन यू गेट seen as a very natural enthusiast for finance you have the skill set for finance that's a that is what a you know that is exactly what a certification shows ki is bande mein baat hai is cheez ke leke skills hai iske paas obviously there would be some now you would find a lot of students in your mba who would already be cfa 1 level 1 pre mba and then they get into the mba they even do their level 2 and level 3 also but level 1 kar sakte ho because most people would do it most people would do it who are very serious about finance the ones who don't are the ones who are still on the fence about it but agar aap on the fence bhi ho mai kahunga nse certifications kar lo because cfa it requires a lot of investment of time and also of paisa frm fir ek alag cheez aa jati risk management if you want to specialize into risk management then the kind of jobs you get in this is investment side pe is also in that side i mean the rating side of it wherein you can assess the risk of an investment that's that so choose what kind of things you want to do i think in any case here is what i you know here is what i generally advise even if you are somebody who's got not one thing to do with a uh, finance and i'm sure that the ones who are watching this video you have got a lot of things to do with finance or at least you are thinking about it even if four weeks from now eight weeks from now you choose that okay finance is not for us i would still say in your second year take some finance electives zarur lena Without finance, an MBA is not an MBA. नहीं है उसका कोई fun नहीं है You will not become smart. I am telling you. Like finance, understanding finance makes you smart. It makes you good in everything else. So even if you want to specialize in operations or anything else or marketing, it makes you much more smarter, savvier. That's that. This is what it is. Now, now finally, one very exciting thing: top B schools. Now understand this. Among the top three IIMs, again, if you watch my last few videos on this, I do not always say that you know what A B C A B C S are not here. You know this for a fact. Calcutta brings to the best finance job. Period. It's a fact. Some may say that okay, why Calcutta? Yeah, why not Ahmedabad and Bangalore? See, here's the thing. You would find that there are more number of finance offers, the more absolute quantity of finance offers at IIM Calcutta than they come at IIM Bangalore and at IIM Ahmedabad. More number. further advantage of being at iim calcutta is that some kind of job roles come to iim calcutta which may not even come to iim a or b i've spoken to the place commers i know this a lot of place commers at these other b schools are always insecure of iim calcutta because they know that yaar wahan pe ja raha hai finance ja raha hai much that also for one specific job role and iim amdavad or an iim b or some of these other schools may just get one or two organizations for it but for those some of those even for those unique roles i am calcutta will get three or four companies for that even very much even some of the organizations abroad international placements in finance happen at i am calcutta because also the rankings of i am calcutta in the financial space is much higher than these two that's also something like that so it is more regarded it is more branded for finance as a thing also then ये सब आपको कोई शायद इन्फॉर्म करेगा नहीं बट जरूरी है जानना एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस इज वेरी लॉजिकल इवन विद इन आई एम बैंगलोर एंड आई एम अहमदाबाद आई कुड हैव सेड ओके यार आई एम अहमदाबाद चले जाना उसके बाद सी द थिंग विद आई एम बैंगलोर एंड आई एम अहमदाबाद एंड वाई आई एम सींग इज दैट इफ फाइनेंस इज समथिंग विच यू वॉन्ट डू प्रॉब्ली आई एम बी इज अ बिट हायर देन आई एम ए द रीजन फॉर दैट इज वेरी सिंपल इट गोज बैक टू द सेलेक्शन क्राइटेरिया ऑफ आई एम अहमदाबाद एंड ऑफ आई एम बैंगलोर I am Bangalore has a more weightage to your work experience. More work experience students you will find at I am Bangalore. More freshers you will find at I am Ahmedabad. 
and by virtue of the fact that that more work experience people come at i am bangalore and because finance job roles finance companies requires a uh, work experience naturally more good quality higher paying job roles come at i am bangalore that's that then obviously the close ones after that XLRI, FMS, SP Gen. SP Gen does get a lot of financial role thanks to the fact that it's in Bombay. And they have a lot of companies over there, a lot of uh, financial institutions and those kinds, all of these places. The salary, again, as I always say, I don't want to say this because I don't want to show this to you and give you an idea that, okay, you choose this specialization because it pays so much. But again, I would say this number is obscene. The reason why I'm saying that is because in some of the job roles like investment banking and all of this, the, you know, your initial packages can go to as high as 40, 50 lakhs. And for somebody pre MBA who's just worked for like, uh, for say one or two years, right after two years of investment in MBA, if you can get a 40, 50 lakh package, that is crazy number. It's no joke. Therefore at CL, we always tell you build more aspiration, build more hunger in yourself, aim for these institutes. These are good places to be at, obviously. With that, I'd just like to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope and I'm sure that this would have helped you a lot. If yes, go down in the comments and let me know what you feel about that. What are your aspirations in finance? What more you want me to make on the Career Launcher YouTube channel? If not, let me know your feedback. Thanks a lot and goodbye.